Short-term memory loss affects many of us. Frequently, we think we have a poor short-term memory. But is this necessarily the case? Oh, it's difficult to remember. I haven't done it recently. Right. Uh, lots of other things that I forget with my with, with short-term memory. Um, just now, I checked in my handbag to see that I put my makeup in from when I left home an hour ago. So I couldn't remember whether I'd actually put it in or not. Um, I came back from holiday yesterday uh, and um, I came to work this morning and I left my phone in my uh, holiday luggage rather than come to work with it, so that was that. When I talk to people about memory problems, they often tell me that the reason they think they have a problem with short-term memory is because they've lost their keys when they've got home or their wallet or their bag or even their car. Some people actually even have lost their car when they've been shopping. Now, it's not probably something to do with memory loss, it's probably something to do with the way that we learn, the way that we think, and more importantly, in concentration. I don't think he can drive. Of course, man, I can't. I've seen my dad doing a thousand times. We start off unconsciously incompetent. We don't know what it is that we don't know. The next level is where we understand what is required, but still can't do it. This is called conscious incompetence. Level three is about having the skill, but needing to concentrate really hard to maintain your skill level. Mirror, signal, maneuver. You know, I can't remember whether we've just come down the Ifley Road or the Cowley Road. This driver just demonstrated unconscious competence. She drove without the need to focus on the route she took. So losing those keys or forgetting where you parked the car just means you've been doing something at the unconscious competent level and your conscious memory is switched off. So don't blame your memory. <laughs> <laughs>